The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for the morning of July 26, 2021. We're keeping with the elevated rain chances through Wednesday, but we start to dry out by the latter half of the week. Unfortunately, rain chances return for the weekend. Here's what I have for you in today's video. We are starting off this morning with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies across central Alabama, with temperatures in the 70s as of the 5 a.m. roundup. Calera was the warm spot at 77 degrees, while Gadsden, Haleyville, and Pell City were all tied as the cool spots at 72 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 76. Now diving into the 06Z run of the GFS starting off today at 4 p.m., the forecast will be pretty similar to what we saw across north central Alabama on Sunday, as we'll start off the day with a decent amount of sunshine. Clouds will start to build during the second half of the morning, and scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms will begin popping up, mainly during the late morning through the early evening hours. These rain chances will be elevated over the Tennessee Valley and mainly north of the I-59 corridor, with precipital water values potentially reaching 2.2 inches. Some of the heavier storms will produce some ponding and minor flooding issues. Just like Sunday, these storms will be slow movers as well, which could also lead to those ponding and flooding issues. Highs across North Alabama will be in the mid-80s to the lower 90s, while Central Alabama will see highs in the upper 80s to the mid-90s. Heat index values may reach as high as 104 degrees, so please be careful if having to work or to be outside for extended amounts of time. Ridging over the southeast will keep the area very humid and hot through this last week of July. Rain chances will stay elevated for Tuesday and Wednesday across the area as the tropical moisture involved with Invest 90L will move westward into the area. Tuesday looks to be the day with the highest rain chances for all of the area, while those higher rain chances will mainly be located over the southern half of the area for Wednesday. Highs on both days will be in the upper 80s to the mid-90s. Thursday and Friday will be more of your typical summer days as ridging builds over the southeast. The good news is that the overall rain chances look low enough that nearly everyone will stay dry with tons of sunshine, but a few isolated showers cannot be ruled out. Highs on both days will be in the lower to mid-90s. A trough will start working its way into the area late on Friday and will bring an increase to the scattered afternoon and early evening shower and thunderstorm chances on Saturday and Sunday. At this point, the odds will be around 40 to 50 percent. Highs on both days will be in the upper 80s to the mid 90s. Now taking a look at the tropics, as of the 1 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, we see that the Invest 90L remains poorly organized as it was located around 45 miles to the east of St. Augustine, Florida. Conditions are becoming less conducive before the system moves over land this morning in northeastern Florida or southeastern Georgia. For central Alabama, this will keep shower chances elevated over the southern half of the area on Tuesday and Wednesday. The National Hurricane Center has lowered the odds for development down to 30% over the next two days. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. We're on a one-a-day video schedule this week as James and Bill are both out on vacation. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. And please remember, each day is a gift.